The world's a stupid place. Let's get to it. A woman in Wildwood, Missouri wrote to her local TV station to say that she had seen an image of Donald Trump in her butter. Yeah, that's kind of uncanny, isn't it? Later in Rhode Island, a proctologist claimed to see Donald Trump's image every day while examining patients. The GOP popularity of Donald Trump proves that as much as people claim to hate clowns, they still go to the circus. A poll by the YouGov organization found that one half of 18 to 24 year old British and a third of 18 to 24 year old Americans say they're not totally heterosexual. That's the problem with millennials, no ability to focus. A mistake by the EPA caused 100 miles of river from Colorado to New Mexico to turn bright orange with toxic waste. On the bright side, I've always wondered where they got those Arctic orange shakes. Last week was Kids Week on the game show Jeopardy. But I don't know if it prepared the contestants for the real kids' Jeopardy, finding a job when they graduate school with a meaningless degree and a huge student debt. A cat who looks like Hitler. Here's a big surprise. Former Subway pitchman turned child molester Jared Brown's charity foundation to fight childhood obesity was a sham. Despite being set up in 2008 to give $2 million to schools, it hadn't given a single grant. Which is surprising, as you'd think Jared would be eager to find an excuse to visit schools. The charity is called the Healthy Lifestyle Nationwide School Grant Program, proving that in addition to everything else he did, Jared committed crimes against irony. In the same vein, Subway is reportedly considering dropping its slogan, Eat Fresh. This shit just writes itself. Beware of Twitter accounts calling themselves anything like true facts. One of them this week tweeted that Oreos are as addictive as cocaine and heroin. Bullshit, I've never been offered $2 fellatio by an Oreo whore. Two Iowa men who drove to Boston planning to take out the competition were arrested last week while in possession of unlicensed weapons, including an AR-15 rifle and a shotgun. The competition they were planning to take out? The winner of the Pokemon World Championships. One of the guys was named Stumbo. I told you, this shit just writes itself. Canada is in the midst of a national election, and seen here is Prime Minister Stephen Harper, whom as a Canadian I hate with the heat of a thousand suns, getting a Tim Hortons coffee on the campaign trail. For those unfamiliar with Canadian culture, getting a Tim Hortons coffee is to Canada what mom, apple pie, and open carry laws are to America. Something that just makes us feel warm inside. But check out this guy. Either PM Harper's security team has casual Fridays, or this guy's an undercover agent who doesn't quite get the concept. Speaking of the Canadian election, the perception of Canadian politics as dull has been shattered by this independent candidate from the province of British Columbia. Here, have a look. Hey, I'm Wyatt Scott, and I'm running for Parliament for the new riding of Mission Matsui Fraser Canyon. I'm an independent candidate. And I'm here to fight for Canada! University is too damn expensive. Thanks, mister. Services like healthcare and social programs should be expanded, not cut. The indigenous people aren't even protected by their own government. Change is coming to Canada, and I'm here to lead that charge. Are you ready for the shift? I am. My name's Wyatt Scott, and I'm running for Parliament! Well, he's got my vote. Candidate Wyatt Scott said he designed the video to appeal to people's short attention spans. And unlike most political leaders, this is a man who knows how to balance a budget. Scott made the video for a thousand bucks using student labor he got through Craigslist. However, be careful when typing in student labor on Craigslist. That may be how Jared got started. And here's a thought to ponder from the lost book of Confucius. Cleaning shit from pants is easier than cleaning shit from head. All right, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos here at everyjoe.com. You won't be sorry.